Oh, it's hyped. I think I'm mulliganing this matchup wrong. I don't know. I have this weird thing where I like kicking cards like Harrowing and Scythria. I'm sure I won't regret that. Take the subs slowly. Yeah, thanks for the subs. Olaf Sun and Defose. Whee! The 8 mana 7 7 rally on summon is troll here, right? Yes, correct. I mean, we're just winning games with Harrowing. The most important thing with this list is just like playing as flexibly as we can. Basically. Oh, that's interesting. I can't really care about that. I don't know. There's value to leaving Glimpse up. I just don't know if there's enough. This feels good. Getting Radiant Guardian on 5 is going to be one of the big checks here. Okay, sure. Why not? Warchefs is great here. Warchefs feels pretty good here. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with Warchefs. Feels like a card. Wah. Uh. Wow, he's got Shot. So Shot doesn't really change this equation. It means his Powder Keg gets consumed off of the Make It Rain, which means my face takes one less damage. But that's about it. It's still probably worth me glimpsing this. I basically deal one extra damage to my face by glimpsing this. Wait, is it worth it me glimpsing this? Because I also can't really, like, curve out afterwards. I think I'd rather curve out. I mean, I have to be able to get the other glimpse later, right? Yeah, we'll do this. This just has to be better. Because we're also leveling Elise. And leveling Elise is definitely worth it here. Ah! I don't know. This feels pretty nuts. Flip the lease into Radiant next turn. Yeah, flip the lease into Radiant is kind of adorable. There's definitely ways that could play out. This hand is quite interesting. I will allow this attack. Go for it, buddy. damage to everything. God, opening Glimpse is kind of so trolly. And Keeper into Glimpse doesn't allow you to Radiant. Wow, this one's interesting. Ooh, what a hard turn to play. What do you guys actually do here? I don't actually play a ton of this Radiant Guardian card. <laughs> I'm actually not sure. I mean, you could just, like, sacrifice in, play the Radiant. You could open Glimpse to try to get, like, the Radiant attack. But we don't need to lifesteal yet, right? I think open attacking kind of has to be best. It feels hard for it to not be best. It's just like, much more reliable. Because our health, we don't actually need the Radiant to hit. It doesn't need to get it attacking this turn, we just want to maximize the value on our options, right? Like, we're not in a hurry to get the Radiant lifesteal. We're at high health and his range, his range to kill us is a lot lower. The only problem is Radiant now dies to Thermo in a way we obviously can't protect against. It's super easy for him to have Thermo as well. Could he be on Static? If he's on Static, then I kind of have to pass here instead of Bark Beasting. Okay. That feels pretty good. I mean, this is like very, very expensive way to get through Radiant. And I'm um, gonna sacrifice it on the second time. How is Spider Verse? Mm, pretty good. It's very, very high tier movie. I mean, I guess I'll just play Keeper here. What am I worried about? Not much. I feel pretty good here. I mean, we can even, uh, like, block with Bark Beast. 
we want to. Yeah, he doesn't really have a play here. This looks super bad for him, I'm not gonna lie. Has he used one Mystic Shot or two? He's used two, right? So can't I just do this? Looks fine. Your board's too wide? Too wide? It looks like we have exactly the right amount of units. What do you mean? Too wide. I mean, this Remembrance is gonna be pretty funny too, right? I don't know. It looks like this is just kind of like a blowout. What is he gonna do? Riptide me? What if he Riptides me? <laughs> I mean, if he Riptides me, I really should play Scythria instead of the Caretaker. Like, I kind of need to play Scythria instead of the Caretaker. I guess we have a pretty funny Remembrance, though. Yeah, I'll Scythria. That's fine. I mean, Riptide is kind of the only way he can win here. It's like, all of his other plays are really, really awful. Radiant Guardian can sometimes make combo decks and control decks unable to win. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's a pretty scary card. It actually does have, like, just this ability to be a win game button. Which is pretty lacking in a lot of other areas, otherwise. I think we just swing our dick here into Remembrance afterwards. I mean, if this is where Radiant Guardian dies, then I'm pretty happy with that. It's two mana Remembrance. I don't know, I think this Remembrance card is kind of good. I'm not gonna lie. We're on two Remembrance, hmm. I kind of agree with that. We are on two Remembrance, and that is a bit of a hmm. So he just discarded his last card, which puts his hand range to, you know, I mean, effectively zero. I guess against Thermo, I play Remembrance afterwards. Whatever. Okay, so I just hit another Radiant Guardian. Oh, that's fine. I mean, it's a two mana 5-5 five, five tough. I can't really complain, right? Yeah, I, I agree. Running two Remembrances is kind of a bit of a hmm. I'm pretty on board with that. It seems very hmm. Oh, it looks like he's just dead next turn, right? My friend, aren't you dead? I'm basically one eighth gay. Keep up the spicy content. Harrowing. I mean, we don't really need it, but I'll take it, I guess. I mean, this four three is pretty garbage. Goodbye, four three. I don't know, it'd be funny if, like, if Scythria and Callista die, and this was a Rex, I would just Harrowing, right? And I wouldn't even mind. So everything has Fearsome, and he doesn't have any Fearsome blockers, so the dude is literally dead? Wait, how are you... But, but, mister, you're... You're dead. I guess I'm supposed to drag something here. I don't, know, I don't care. It's got Fearsome. Yeah, it's kind of better not to drag, right? Because then we can threaten Lethal with Resolve. It's not like there's really a downside. I mean, I can't really lose, right? Whatever. This would make a good deck. Yeah, this was the deck I made last week. It's slightly more refined. I'm still not, like, done with it yet. But, I mean, it's, it's the same thing as I said last week. This is just a better version of what some people are playing. I mean, I think that really has to be true. I think it's probably better than Lux Thresh, but that one I can't really be too sure of. I'm very confident it's better than both Scouts and Endure. Like, that seems very easy for that to be true. Like, seems kind of impossible for that to not be true. Lux doesn't win games, it's kind of ridiculous that people think Lux is good. Yeah, it's quite overrated. <sighs> this is kind of funny. I mean, is this losable? It would be pretty it would be pretty funny to lose this. He's got no hands, and I'm still at basically 20 health. But I mean it's Ezreal, you never know, right? And I do have heroing. I mean, how could you lose this really? How could I lose this? My Harrowing's pulling multiple Scythias. I think we're just good. What's the win rate with this deck? It doesn't have a sample size. 
I mean, I think I won four out of my last five games. You really shouldn't let that convince you of anything, though. Ah, the Scythery emote has synergy too. Man, that's sick. Whee! So Callista should go before the Scythery is so that they buff her little one. Oh, that's not so little. It's an ambitious pilfered goods, but I dig it. Thirty-four damage. That's pretty hot. But yeah, I mean, I still need to refine the list a little bit. But I mean, it's the same as I said. I said this. God, I think it was over a week ago because I didn't stream for like four days, right? My opinion hasn't changed. Like, I think this is one of the best decks in the game. We'll do this. Pretty centered mulligan here. It's more of a thing at MTG where you can just win off of mana screw slash flood so there's diminishing returns to improving bad matchups. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, man, I'm super happy to just glimpse this out. So like, get glimpse number one out before, you know. I mean, in a two-glimpse hand, we're really thirsty to just get a glimpse out nice and early. In this case, we happen to be, like, countering his card at the same time, so it's a bit of a bonus. So he needs Ruination now to be able to win. Man, I'll need to optimize this deck more tomorrow, since I, I probably can't play much more tonight. I've already streamed, like, quite a bit today. I mean, he's the one who has to play into me, right? Is that right? I mean, he can't really punish my keeper play anyway, whatever. It's fine. It's a sick draw. So this should kind of be the only, like, 5 damage we're really taking here. Listen, bro, if you're passing... Oh, don't do it, man. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Stick it in. Yeah, get it in, man. Oh, that's so much better. Three fading memories. Fading memory is kind of sick. What if that's the secret to this deck? Just like jam in more fading memories? Could be, it's not impossible. So next turn, we start to pop. That's just so sick, dude. I'm literally disgusted by this hand. I'm, oh, oh, I'm vomiting in my fucking mouth. Look at this shit. What the fuck, dude? How is this legal? Look at this hand. Okay. Look at this hand, dude. Like, it's so gross, dude. It's so sick. We haven't even attacked yet. This is so disgusting! Remember when we were running two Remembrances, guys? Ugh. I, I, I guess I'll swoon. I don't even know what emote to use here. Ugh. Ugh. I'll just double swoon. Yeah, there it is. Jubilant Poro. <laughs> This isn't even good, by the way. This is probably like some of the worst things I could have gotten, but it's at least kind of funny. Moose is absolutely shit here. Like, really, really, really bad. It is by far the worst thing I could have gotten. <laughs> Moose unloosed. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of an adorable amount of damage. I will say that. I don't know. It'll be pretty funny when we get, like... Two more mooses and a Scythria two turns from now. I 
I don't know, that is hilarious. Skitterer, I think, is just too cute. There's no way Skitterer is not too cute here. It's actually impossible. Skitterer is 100% too cute. Which is sad, I know, but... That's the way it is. Man, I remember when people stopped running Harrowing? That was pretty funny. I maintain that Bright Steel makes no sense in this list. I mean, you might be right. Is he, uh, is he dead pre-harrowing? Are we forcing out a ruination pre-harrowing? Wait a second, am I about to get this guy to ruinate me? I'll emote him. Oh damn. Wait, is he dead? Hang on. <laughs> Wait a second, hang on. One, one tick. Are you dead? My friend. I've been had. I mean, if I single combat, do we just win sometimes? He needs, like, second butcher? <laughs> Am I just single combating that? Grasp? Yeah, but who runs Grasp? You'd have to be, like, a serious role player. It's not lethal. I mean, it's true. I guess, like, single combating here is quite troll. Would I ever need to singular combat? Beat Grasp? I guess I just have to attack here. I don't know, I will say... This is quite funny. Like... This harrowing next turn is about to be, like, absolutely disgusting. What the hell? We're about to harrowing for Scythria, two mooses, two skitterers. Yuck. Like, ugh. No. Don't even need harrowing? I think we might actually not even need harrowing here. I mean, it gives us a nice safety net. Uh, so we'll just block it down. Watch, he'll, he'll kill the Scythria here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Can we ever get him to ruinate this? So we single combat that, and then harrowing and win the game. <sighs> nah, you don't want to like give yourself any lose to ruination. I guess you're just supposed to win there by like, attacking. This is such a disgusting deck.